the sensor input from the simulator and perceiving what's going on in the world and, uh, and as well as the lanes and the cars and everything that are in the world and giving us control information back to the simulator so the computers are driving the car. Look, Ma, no hands. Over here on the right side is what we show the driver or the, the human in the car so that the human is well aware that we're aware of what's happening in the environment. It's a confidence view. As a driver, you can decide to see this augmented reality view right here, or you can decide to see a virtual reality view right there. And the ability to see this gives you so much confidence that the AV computer is recognizing, perceiving the right things, and about to do the right things. Okay, Mark, go ahead. Fantastic. So I want to show you how we actually use this, the workflow of using DriveSim. So if we can switch to the developer view real quick. Over here on the right side, we're seeing uh, a, yet another camera in the scene. This is a spectator camera that a developer would use. We're running the simulation the entire time that we're editing this. Uh, we also have a, a Jupyter Notebook Python interface to our DriveSim. So we can make some changes. Uh, let's, let's make some weather changes. Go ahead. Let's uh, nighttime. Go through a few of them. Sunset, rain. So much easier to do this in virtual reality than to do it in real life. Like we, we try to we try to hope for rain, but it just doesn't rain for months. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fantastic. So we've changed some environments in the world. We've actually uh, been adding traffic as we've been playing along. All this while the simulation is running. All while we're running hardware in the loop. So we're talking to the actual computer in the car. As the well exact the car. software that we would actually put into the car is actually running on Constellation. Bit accurate, exactly the same. Perfect. Yes. So let's uh, make one more modification while we're here. All this traffic is essentially their agents. They're, they're running a uh, uh, pass based upon the rules. But we can, we can uh, uh, occupy the mind of one of these agents. So take it over. And, uh, and control it. So we grab one of the cars in the world. Let's, uh, let's do, have it do a lane change. So I can locally modify any one of these bots of traffic. I can possess it and control it. I can set up any scenario I want interactively. Finally, the best way to test our car isn't to do it all of this interactively. I really want some randomized versions of these scenarios that we just created. And I want to deploy them on a whole fleet of, not real cars, but in this case, Constellation boxes in our data center. So let's do that. Let's switch to the Constellation view. Here we go. We've got, uh, in this case, 12 versions of, uh, of that exact same setup, but now with randomized variables of weather, time of day, timing of the traffic, uh, so that we can, we can uh, test every possible perturbation of that scenario. That's awesome. Thanks a lot, Mark. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for